What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical, average American here today to react and learn about seven foods you must eat in Canada. It is the law. You must eat these foods. You must. Okay, maybe, maybe not required by law, but heavily encouraged. And uh, <laughs> I like learning about Canadian food. It still amazes me, as an American, that there's such a difference between some of the stuff that's very popular and famous and famously eaten and enjoyed in the United States versus Canada. It's incredible. So this is a little video called The True Canadian Food Tour. I like that uh, title, by the way, True Canadian Food, The Tour. Seven things to eat in Canada. I'm sure I've heard of some of these. I'm at this point, I am aware of some of the staple Canadian dishes, but I am hoping there's some surprises in here, some interesting things. Either way, it shall be good. Let's take a look. So for the first food, it's gonna be a poutine because it's the most popular Canadian food and it's- Hold, what, what did he say? For the first food, it's gonna be a poutine because it's the most pop- Oh no. Oh no. Wait, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> Have I been saying this wrong? Have I have I been saying poutine wrong? Is it poutine? Is it optional? Can you say poutine or poutine? <laughs> oh, oh, I th I think I've heard this. Poutine. 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 It's spelled T I N E. I think I reserve the right, especially as an American, ignorant, unaware of the truth of the matter. So, I think it's fine either way. Canadian food and it's known around the world. If you don't know what it is, it's basically fries, gravy, and cheese. But cheese is key. And this is why we are here at Fromagerie Victoria because I heard that it, it's the best. They actually make the cheese right there. Oh, wow. Okay, I thought I was gonna be upset with this. <laughs> upset. Because I know poutine. I just watched how to make poutine. But this is like... Really, this is good stuff. This is good. Oh, sorry, Putin. This is good Putin. So we get the goods, but we got way too much, so I recruited help. <laughs> You got a lot of pizza and wanna help? Hell yeah. <laughs> so we have three different kinds. Mine is a small popcorn chicken one. What? Wait, is there a whole world of poutine that I didn't know about where you're adding chicken and all sorts of crazy stuff? Oh my goodness, this is like opening so many more poutine doors than I ever imagined. And then David got a smoked meat one. And then Smoked the last, meat. The last one is a large traditional, like, what do you call it? Classic? Yeah. Like classic style poutine. They look amazing. Oh, she said poutine. Okay. Maybe it's, uh, is he kind of uh, French or sounded like he might be from Quebec? So maybe poutine is sort of a French style of saying the word. She sounds uh, more like she has an accent like me or, or, most Canadians, and she said poutine. So, he, okay, I feel better now. So no matter what you put on the poutine, the base needs to always be the same. It's fries, gravy, and squeaky cheese or cheese curds. Tracy yeah. got the poutine with popcorn chicken. There's a lot of cheese and the cheese does look Oh, wow. Very good. I feel or like actually, I would say phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> you can just go around adding whatever you want to poutine. Why did I never think of this? <laughs> it is. Wow. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Told you. My stepdad told me that apparently we say phenomenal all the time, so now we're kind of self-conscious about it. <laughs> <laughs> phenomenal. Okay, it's a good word. Man, this just reinforces to me, why is there no poutine in the United States? It doesn't make sense. It would be so popular. Uh, I'm not sure if it's true. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One of the best I ever had in my life. Phenomenal. <laughs> the cheese is always the key, and 
there's a say like the squeaky cheese because it actually squeaks when you like eat it and mm? this is squeaking around my teeth right now mm -hmm. huh? which makes it a 10 out of 10. <laughs> has to squeak your poutine is no good unless it's squeaking in your mouth who knew so poutine check that was very good so Up good to the next one okay I, I do agree that deserves to be no the number one on the list like at this point canada poutine Synonymous. One more thing that's very Canadian food-wise is a beaver tail. And so, just before, just before you panic and you think that we're oh, eating beaver, yeah. it, it's not. It's a pastry. And normally they have. Oh man, I, I think I heard about this a lot a while ago, months ago. Beaver tail. This is like a dessert, right? He's like on ski hills, at the bottom of the hill it's, or at the top of the yeah, hill. They'll have a beaver tail. It's like... a very like wintry snack. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Huh, even that sign had poutine on it. Wow. Even the beaver tail place. Oh, wow. We've got the goods. We're going to go eat in the car because it's kind of cold in here. So beaver tail is basically, it just looks like a beaver tail in that sense, but it's a piece of dough and it's deep fried and it's usually pretty like chewy and good. The original is cinnamon huh. sugar coating, like butter with cinnamon sugar. But we went full on Canadian and we got a maple sauce on the top. Maple sauce. What? Wait, what's the difference between maple syrup and maple sauce? Does it get that specific? Is, is syrup a type of sauce? We're really getting into to semantics here. Anyway, yet another thing Americans would like. That looks really good. So, you ready? A little unhealthy. But that's good. Brings me back to my childhood skiing. That's good. Okay, let's try this. I'm the biggest fan of maple syrup in the entire world. Like, I can literally take a, a glass, put a straw in it, and just drink it. <laughs> yeah. Mmm. That's a good beaver tail. So I do beaver have to tail. say, as has a fun name too. I don't know if Canadians probably heard the word beaver tail so many times. You don't even realize anymore. It's actually a very, very fun name. Much as this one's good, I my top like all time favorite is actually the classic with just the cinnamon sugar. Mm. And sometimes I have one with maple butter. But yeah, definitely check them out if you have the chance to. The only bad okay. thing about beaver tails is that they're very sticky. So when you're done, like I have, I have some maple spread in my all beard over, right now. Everywhere. All my fingers are sticky. But that's that, that that's part of it. It's but part it's, of the experience. That's part of it. <laughs> that's part of it. Experience. It depends what topping you get. That's yeah. for sure. But now, want to try a Justin Bieber snack? Yeah, so I've seen these. Let's go see if we can find them. Okay. Justin Bieber snack? Let's go. Tim Hortons. Uh, it's like a spotting a natural wonder in a Canadian video. Tim Hortons. Ooh. Two other things that are very Canadian is Tim Horton and Justin Bieber. So <laughs> Tim Hortons and Justin Bieber did a collaboration and now we have Tim what? Beeps. I really just- What? Come on. <laughs> Justin Bieber, Tim Hortons collaboration, who knew? And it invented a, a, a food called Tim Beebs? Tim Beebs, that's good, okay. Looks good, is it like donuts? Tim Hortons and Justin Bieber did a collaboration and now we have Tim Beebs. I really just, everyone wants to call them beaver balls because oh. they're Timbits. Anyways, um, okay, so let's try them. So the first Tim one bits. is birthday cake. Oh, it's like really tasty flavored. Um, this is was a great, great uh, second to pause the video on, by the way. <laughs> With her biting it like that. What the heck? Timbits. And these are flavored like different flavors, like donuts? The coating outside is really good. It's actually a very good Timbit. It's actually better than a normal Timbit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay, so the second one is like a sour cream glazed chocolate chip, basically. These are like donuts. I mean, I don't have any chocolate chips on it. I'm one of my favorite donuts is sour cream glazed. So it's good. I like okay. it. Nothing special though. There's no chocolate on it. No. The last one sounds fancy. It's like chocolate white fudge or something like that. Okay. It's good, but I still don't get like a white fudge or anything like that. I don't know if these are like Canadian enough. 
I feel like, actually, as an American, if I was in a Tim Hortons, I'd want to get, like, the most boring, standard Tim Hortons thing you can get. Because to me, that would be the, the Canadian. The boring Canadian thing would be, like, fascinating to me. The experience I want. Rather than the, like, weird collab between Tim Hortons and Justin Bieber. No offense, but yeah. It just tastes like normal chocolate. Birthday cake for the win. I agree. It's pretty good, though. But birthday cake, definitely the best one. And something I couldn't okay. resist was getting a Boston cream because, well, Boston creams are amazing. It does look good. I, I don't know about this one. I, I enjoyed the beaver tail, the poutine, a bit more. They they just scream Canada to me a bit more. Mm. Off to the next food spot. We are here in the heart of noisy Montreal, Quebec to eat a true Montreal style bagel at the most famous place probably in Canada, which is Saint Viator Bagel. Well, uh, the bagels are famous in Montreal, Canada? I didn't know that was a thing. Okay, I like I like a bagel. Are you excited? Tracy loves Very bagel. <laughs> Does it have to come from this particular place? Is that important? Oh wow. Okay. So Saviathar Bagel is a true institution here in Montreal. They're actually making bagel here 24 seven since 1957. Oh, these are freshly made bagels. Okay. It's been 64 years. Got the goods? back to the car because I forgot how cold minus 10 is and I'm freezing. Huh. It is freezing indeed. It's got to be higher than, it's got to be colder than minus 10 with a wind chill. Oh, I can't move my hands. So we got an original which is like a sesame one and it feels so warm already. And then I got a blueberry. It is strange to me how much I like bagels because they're so plain. Yeah, you can get bagels with certain flavors and stuff on it, but there's something about this the plainness of a bagel that makes it real good. Flip bagels. And so I'm actually happy to hear it's kind of a Canadian thing too. And you cannot get fresher than this, that is for sure. Oh wow. Oh yeah. Perfect amount of chewiness. So to eat a proper bagel, you need cream cheese, but first bite, Mmm, it's so good. No cream cheese first, then I'm gonna add some, but yeah. Can't get better than that. Now that I've put a sesame seed all over the car, okay. let's go eat a smoked meat, a Montreal smoked meat. Smoked meat. So this is actually one of the seven. Smoked meat. Smoked meat, that does sound good. An another thing I didn't know was like a Canadian thing. I'm glad there's some stuff on here that's surprising me. Bagels, smoked meat. So the next place is called Schwartz. It is the best smoked meat in Montreal Describe by far. Meat. It's uh, it's some sort of like uh, deli, deli meat, meat. Yeah. I guess. Warm deli meat in a sandwich. It's delicious. It's one of my favorite thing. Okay. I mean, that does sound good. Here in Montreal, and Schwartz is the place to go. You'll see they literally have a line in front of the store 12 months a year, every single day of the year. I guess my only thing I'm wondering is, are bagels and smoked meat known as like a, a dish, a staple in Canada? Or is it just very specifically to these particular stores in Montreal that you have to go to them or is it like a national thing? Because I know poutine is like popular in Canada. And I think beaver tails too. Maple syrup. But some of these I'm not sure if it's popular in certain parts or everywhere. So I, I am a little confused about that. So we're going to go have to wait in line even though it's like minus 15 or something. And uh, we were not really dressed to wait. In not at all. I feel like we ate literally everything in the car. <laughs> Napkins. Huh. We're gonna need a lot of those, I feel like. It's 
not that bad. So you can get the, the smoked meat like different That's ways, it. basically like uh, extra lean, lean, medium, or like fat or whatever. So depend how you like your meat. Medium is the best way to have it. Can what? Like... How does okay. this? How does this work? <laughs> I assume this is a sandwich of some sort. You're not just like eating raw meat or <laughs> raw meat. You're not just eating a lump of meat. Like how does that? Oh. How is this a sandwich? It's a oh. tower. Oh wow, that is hearty. That looks good. On <laughs> I normally like take take the top bread off, eat a little bit of the meat, and then make it a sandwich again. So okay. This is what it looks like, and it's so so good. It has like a oh my, that is the meatiest looking thing I've ever seen. Nice smokiness, like it's the best. I truly missed a good old smoked meat. So that is gonna be it for Montreal. Now let's go to Halifax. Okay. Really landing in a beautiful and very rainy Halifax to find something that is very Halifax-like. Halifax. I'm not familiar with Halifax. Halifax? Am I even spelling it right? Oh, F-A-X? City in Nova Scotia. Really? Let's zoom out a little bit. Hold on. Okay. So, I think they were in Quebec, Montreal, Nova Scotia, Halifax. All right, learning something about Canadian geography today, too. Very good. A lobster roll. Oh, lobster roll. I didn't even, <laughs> I didn't even process that. That was the, the big reveal. Halifax lobster roll. Okay. Uh, I guess this is on an island in Nova Scotia, like by water on an island, right? Yeah. So maybe they can catch the lobster right there and s make great lobster rolls. It's starting to make sense. So sadly, because of COVID, there's a lot of different places that are closed right now. A lot of like the very famous places, but this is heaven seafood and I heard a lot of good things about it. I never personally try it, but we've got the goods, so let's go try it out. Okay. Okay, so I am a weird and bad maritimer Nova Scotian because lobster actually is not my favorite. Um, I'm okay. going to try it by anyway. I like like little pieces, but not like a whole lobster. Now this has me wondering, I guess the different provinces and places in Canada have different dishes that they're regionally known for. And then you have certain stuff that's kind of like famous all over Canada. I think that's the, the sort of answer I'm looking for. But my family actually has a tradition that on New Year's Eve or Christmas Eve, one or the other, we actually do a lobster full seafood feast. Um, oh. And David coming from Quebec, he really appreciates when that happens because yeah. he loves the lobster. Oh, well, wait, it's it's also like a thing where they grew up in Canada. Maybe l seafood is just popular in Canada. What? I don't know what to think. But like the Maritimes, like East Coast Canada has the best seafood like in the world. And Maine in the States because yeah. you're like on that same coast. Yeah. Oh, thank you for that clarification. So we're talking about, ah, uh, like Eastern Canada having that relationship with the ocean Maritime. Maritime is the word they keep using, okay. Especially the lobster. Okay, so I'm gonna give it a try. Hmm. It does actually look like a really good one, to be honest. Yeah, I don't really eat much lobster at all, so I don't really know, I don't have too much reference to, to say much about this, but it does look good. It's really good. It is really good, but I order it at a restaurant. No, but that's just because I'm not a huge fan of lobster. So the true tell, let's see what David thinks. Okay. I am actually a big fan of lobster, and I do like lobster rolls normally, so. That is a massive, I've never seen like a whole hot dog sandwich lobster roll. That is a good lobster roll. There's, There's like an entire lobster in that roll. So much lobster, buttery bun, a little bit of mayonnaise. It's delicious. Mm. Okay. That's pretty much all a lobster roll is. <laughs> lobster, mayo, onion, butter roll. Alright. Alright. This is good! Oh, oh, so oh, guys, we oh, have one geez. more Canadian snack, and we have been waiting to do this since we arrived in Canada, but we oh. were waiting to have little kiddos around, which we are gonna have tonight. 
And I almost wish that we would have been able to do it at a sugar shack. Yeah. Um, but unfortunately, with everything that's going on, it's, it's not possible. Close. Yeah. So we're gonna. <laughs> it's the first time ever that I'm gonna do that yeah. on my own because, yeah. like Tracy said, normally it's just at sugar shacks. Yeah. So we're gonna give it. What What is a sugar shack? What What does it all mean? Hold on. <laughs> sugar shack. Shack. Uh, Canada. Sugar Shack 101. <laughs> uh, something to do with maple syrup. Okay. It, is it a place? Is Sugar Shack a restaurant? Hmm. Let, let's see. Let us continue. Our best shot. We're gonna. I need, hope it works. We're yes. I'm. I'm confident though. I'm very confident. Okay, so we're gonna okay. need popsicle sticks and snow. And maple syrup. Let's oh, go. This thing. This thing with the maple syrup and the snow. Is this like common? Is Are Canadians out there doing this? Like really? Making the maple syrup snow thing? I heard about this one too. Never really learned much about it though. So last Canadian snack is gonna be maple on the snow. I'm very excited about that <laughs> mm -hmm. because I love anything maple. A little change of plan, there's not gonna be kids. Good thing because that I'm a big kid. we're losing the snow and we need to do it like ASAP. Yeah. Tomorrow we're not gonna have any snow. No, and no. yes, we have very cool shirts. It is fun that you do this with the snow literally outside your, your house. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, step one, maple syrup, the Canadian one, into a right. pot. How much? I don't know. I'd say that's enough. Okay. And then you bring it to a boil. This is to make some kind of popsicle, maple syrup, snow popsicle thing, right? That's some good looking syrup, by the way. Okay, step two is to go get a tray of clean snow. <laughs> okay. A tray of snow. Okay. Got the snow. Let's see if our thing worked. Pour the syrup into that, but just to make it easier to pour on the snow. And now you pour the very hot maple syrup directly on the snow, and the difference in temperature is gonna kind of solidify it pretty quickly. Wow, I would have thought this would just melt the snow. I would never have thought this actually works. I don't know why it works. What? Just like that. Oh yeah. Oh, it needs to be on the snow a little bit more. That is not at all what I imagined. I imagined like these long, big popsicle, maple syrup popsicles. <laughs> it's like a little lollipop, like a circle rolled up on a little stick. It's, it's a lot tinier than I thought, but <laughs> it is what it is. I don't know why I had a preconceived notion of this. Just like that. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, jeez. Just like at the show. It's going to town on that thing. Oh my gosh. That must taste very, very, very maple syrupy. It is like pure maple syrup that's been frozen, boiled and frozen, basically. Okay. It's pretty good. But it's always super sticky. <laughs> so we Somehow it made it into a, like a taffy. I, don't, I wonder how that works. We are very full because we've been eating those snacks for the past week. Yes, we have. But we really enjoyed and we hope you enjoyed too. <laughs> and otherwise, see you in the next one. What? Okay. All right. Pretty good. Pretty good, honestly. Uh, this was by Dave Manny. And I liked it. I really did like that. That was pretty good. That had several things that I either had never heard of or didn't know much about, which was perfect. I was hoping to have like a Canadian food video that, that taught me new stuff, and it did, it really did. What do the people say? Um, you have literally shown the authentic Canadian fast food life. Fast food? These foods were like nice to me, man. One of these what was a giant lobster roll. These were nice, fast food? Well, the Tim Hortons, yeah. The, the poutine? That seems pretty like legit to me. I wouldn't call that fast food. Maybe maybe poutine is fast food in Canada. I, I didn't know that. The bagel was so good. It did look good. It did. <laughs> I felt hungry after this video. Same. Seriously, same. <laughs> okay. 
This was good. This was actually very good. I enjoyed this. Uh, if you enjoyed this as well, feel free to give this video a like or leave a comment. And if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to Canada, Canadian culture stuff, things in Canada I've never seen before, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching and see you next time.